<laughs> so I'm doing my 30 days of thankfulness on YouTube where the little a few more accessible people be you know it's a little better so <laughs> anywho Lord thank you because I am so grateful and so thankful today's thankfulness I'm trying to decide it's I had in mind two things I was going to I kind of wanted to say today, and I was like, I don't know which one I want to do today. So, I'm going to say I'm thankful for, for my audio, like my music and my audio books, because, and it's not necessarily, I don't know if you call it music, but like your sounds, like I have all of these common apps on my phone that, um, where I can listen to the sound of the ocean, the sound of the birds, the sound of the wilderness the sound of the rain the sound of the thunder anything that's common and then i have a lot of um because i have severe anxiety and stuff i have a lot of common um well i ain't gonna say a lot but but three or four cds downloaded to my phone um from my doctor that i see from for all my issues because honey go to your therapist see your therapist because they work anyway um, they have these, I have these CDs that teach me to find my center and to help me breathe. So I know how to breathe. I know how to breathe, relax, find my center, refocus myself and keep my energy positive and the energy around me positive. And so today I want to say I am thankful for my audio. And my, I don't know, I guess I have to call it music for my sounds because my relaxation CDs are life. Um, I also love Audible. Oh my God. I have so many books in Audible. It's like stupid ridiculous. If y'all listen to Audible, leave it in the comments below and tell me what y'all be listening to because I listen to everything. First of all, I have the Twilight series. Who don't have that? All the books in the series the next thing i have is my mary monroe i have the god don't like ugly series and then after that I co i'm collecting all her other books because i have them in paperback or hardback already so i'm recollecting them on audible the next thing i'm recollecting is eric jerome dickey if you listen to eric jerome dickey leave it in the comments below i have all of his books and now i'm collecting all of the audio books um some of his books Every once in a while, like maybe some, I know maybe the older books had like the free digital format in there where you can get like your free audio book. But the newer books, I don't remember seeing one in there. And I haven't bought the last three books, like from Blackbird up, I haven't bought. I just been listening to on Audible, but I am going to collect them, well, to buy and collect them. Um, I have all of the Cartel series books by uh what's their name ashley and jaquavis or just ashley whichever one, one of them i have all of the product product plan series i have um golly what's this other one let me see um oh the curtis black series by kimberly uh lawson robbie i have all the curtis black series and i'm just gonna start collecting the rest of her books because I had the, the Curtis Black series in heart in hardback and paper, but I um <coughs> I collecting the rest of them. I have um Zane, I have all of her books up until probably 2000 the end of 2017. I have all of her books. Then I switched over to Audible. So I'm in the process. Like I have a book wish list that I've listened to, but I like to read to. So I'm I gotta add some more to that collection. But um, let's see what else I got in here. Cause sometimes, you know, I don't never know what I got. I listen to a, some of everything. I got Tiffany Haddish, The Last Black Unicorn. Let's see. Zane, I already said that. Eric Jerome Dickey. Just about literally all my audio books are going to be in a sequence. Because when I listen to audio books, they stay the same. I have um, 
a bunch of um what you call it weber books his books are good but i don't have them in audio yet so i gotta do that but anyway i am thankful for my audio and my music and my sound i just had to say that today because as i get ready to go into this grocery store the first two thing i do is pop in these beats baby and start my book and i have my little list on my phone and then like my little list on my phone and then i just go on about my merry little day doing whatever so and i like long audio books and i like mystery auto books too um i have a bunch of stephen king books that i want in audio so that's in my collection too but leave it in the comments below what your favorite book collection to be and i will see y'all and hit the subscribe button click the notification bell and be sure please to share this out my loves share it out share it out and leave me a comment thumbs up if i didn't say that um there's another book collection i should tell y'all about but anyway I'll probably be coming to y'all from this same spot tomorrow because I just thought about it. I'm going back over my parents' house. Hello, hello, and happy Sunday. Today is November 10th, 2019. And I'm ce celebrating 30 days of thankfulness. I am your girl, Nell. Welcome back to All Things Nell for a little bit of everything all in one place. And as I go about my walk today, so I'm gonna get my walk in. Uh, oh God. So as I get my walk in today, I want to say I am thankful for nature. It is so lovely, so beautiful, so relaxing, and so calming. Like nature is everything right now. It's a nice day. It's about, I should have left my jacket in the car, I believe. And to probably tie my jacket around my waist. Because I really don't need it. Whew. Nature is so serene. It can give you so much peace. It can make you feel so much. Enjoy some nature. Take a walk. Go to a park. Even if you can't walk, go to a park and sit and just breathe some fresh air. And release it. Breathe. And release it. And relax. Enjoy yourself. Just, you know. Y'all, I'm almost two miles from my car. And I gotta stop and rest for me because I have been walking. And my back hurt. Y'all know my back bad. So I gotta stop because I done walked through the park to the other side of the park halfway through town. But anyway, I wanna say I'm thankful for nature. Y'all go out and enjoy y'all some nature. Get it in before it get too cold. Like, like I said in one of my other videos, tomorrow the rain's supposed to move in. So I gotta get my little steps in today because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get them in tomorrow. So. Y'all have a blessed Sunday. God bless you all. And y'all have a good day. Hey squad, hey. Happy Veterans Day, November the 11th. Somebody birthday today, but I can't remember who it is. Uh, still drawing a blank. It's not raining yet. They told us it's gonna be downpour, rain, rain, you know what that's not a good thing because if it's not raining yet that means the rain not gonna make it here to the cold air make it here that's not good what that means is that more than likely that will allow more time to be frozen precipitation and here in Mississippi we don't need no more. Well, we need some frozen precipitation to get the fleas and, and uh, what you call them things, mosquitoes, 
and I, uh, the, the overpopulation of bees in check, baby. Anywho, it's sunny outside. Oh, goodness. I'm at chemo with my dad, so I don't have long to talk. Let me go on and get into the 30 days of thankfulness. I'm celebrating 30 days of thankfulness. Hey, Scott, hey. <laughs> and I am thankful for veterans. I'm thankful for you all saving our lives because the people who run our countries want to fight over frivolous things when we all should be getting along. I want to say thank you to all of those veterans who put their lives on the line. They left their families to save our lives, my life, my family's life, and whoever. A thank you to my granddaddy that has passed away and everybody else that has served in the military. God bless you and thank you. Thank you to my uncle who has passed away. He served many years in the Army before dying of a massive heart attack. He, he lived in Texas. So I want to say thank you to y'all. So let me get into this about these veterans. I feel like that if a person has been away and served our country to save our lives for a silly war that man created because they was having a temper tantrum that at least they could do when they get back to the, the, the United States is have them a home. There's no reason we should have people who fought for this country homeless. There's no reason we should have people that fought for this country and veteran hospitals rotting in a bed to death because nobody is turning them in the bed. Nobody is changing their dressing dressings. Nobody is cleaning the bed pads and they got bed sores. I think more respect needs to be given to veterans. I want to, I mean the lack of respect that people are given after serving this country is sad they should not be on the street holding a sign asking for money to eat or asking for money to pay a bill because our government should have it set up where they have housing some kind of way or get them in you know those that especially and i'm talking about those that are injured it's a lot of them that are injured these are the people they should be begging for food stamps they shouldn't be shaking and rattling a can for food they shouldn't be going without anything they served this country so we could have a country so we need to give more respect to them i i just can't fathom how they're not respected this just does not sit well with me like wait a minute where my Bluetooth? Anyway, so I want to say happy Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day to those veterans. And God bless them and their families. Because I'm going to tell you, without them, we literally have nothing. Like, whatsoever. So thank you. Thank you. Anyway, I'm thankful for the veterans. God I'm bless sure. you. Because oh. <laughs> yesterday was Veterans Day. So today is November 12th. And what am I thankful for today? Today, I want to say I am thankful for keepsakes. Keepsakes. And if you wonder what a keepsake is, well... So, one of the keepsakes, I have several keepsakes. Um, I have these giant, like, mason jars that were my grandmother's. She passed away a really long time ago. Well, I say a really long time ago. It feels like a really long time ago. It's been more than eight years, so it's, that feels like a really long time ago. Um, I have um, those mason jars. I have, like... A silverware collection that was hers I have some platters that were hers that you can't um, you probably could find out an antique shop somewhere but they were hers um, the fact that they're so old um, even though you can find them out of 
antique shop, the fact that they were hers, and she brought them like practically new. Well, she brought them new. So, yeah, I have those. But in my house, I have a bench that as a kid, I sit on her front porch. Y'all picture of the bench is in my bedroom. It's where I keep my decorative pillows when they're not on my bed. I also have some other things that are keepsakes from my granny. When um, she used to go on these church retreats, she went into this place in um, Arkansas where you get these big glass jugs and you collect spring water, naturally clean spring water that bubbles up out of the ground. You catch it freshly and you can drink it like straight out of the ground. It's 100% pure. So those jugs that she used to carry us to go get them, I still have them. We keep pennies in them now. I said I wanted, I've never carried my kids there and we live so close to Arkansas. I don't know why we haven't. But, um, and my dad has mentioned going there many times, but I want us to take a family trip there. I don't even know if you can still go to the Springs, but I just want my kids to go there. We would rent a boat and go out on the boat and all kinds of stuff. I wish we would have went before alligators got bad because then I could just jump off the boat and swim and, you know, the huge lake where we rented the boat. Now I don't know if I would do that so much because I don't want a gator to grab me. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'll have to ask questions. But anyway, I would love to carry my kids there. Just I want them to experience this pure water coming out of the ground. See, now, you know, that was literally like 30 years ago. So I don't know if now if the water would even be pure with all the stuff going on in the world. Um... I have other keepsakes like I have beautiful pearls that my mama bought me back from China that will be a keepsake for my family um, because they're real pearls they're absolutely beautiful um y'all probably seen them if you was on my oh, on my first channel my 2000 no I don't know if she was still if she was back from China in 2012 she may have still been gone so I don't know if you, some of you who follow, have, some of the people here have been following me since I had my first channel, which was back in 2012. But anyway, so today's keepsake is this keepsake. This, I, y'all, I thought I lost this. Let me show you. I actually thought I had lost this. This may look familiar to some people. It, stir, it is sterling silver. Let me put it back on. Um, my husband gave me this ring roughly, um, about 20, we've been together 25 years, so he probably gave it to me about 20, I'm trying to think y'all, uh, 94, 95, 96, 97, 97. So he probably gave it to me about 22 years ago. So yeah, I actually thought I lost this ring. My friend actually gave me a ring similar to this one. I'll have to get it out of the jewelry box one day and show it to you because that will be a cute set because one of my best friends gave it to me when I lost this ring because I was so devastated over it. But as y'all know, I've been doing home renovations. And so um, I have an end table that's broken our nightstands because it just won't go on the track anymore and I was thumbing through the nightstand and there's a nice size basket inside the nightstand where I keep like my hydrocortisone and inhaler um just whatever is needed you know um my old contacts my solution to the cut all that kind of stuff in the very bottom of that basket I found my ring. Y'all, I almost, literally, I started screaming. The, the cat was meowing. The dog was barking. Like, I could not pick up the phone fast enough to text my husband and be like, oh my God, oh my God, guess what I found? I finally found it. He was just like, found what? I was like, the ring you gave me. Like, this was just a gift. Like, an inexpensive gift he gave me. Because it wasn't any, it's just like, we were young. Like, super young. And like, I already had it again, was on this finger. Well, my class ring fell apart, that's another story. But anyway, yeah. So I am thankful for keepsakes. 
I want y'all to leave in the comments below and tell me what your favorite keepsakes. If you don't have a keepsake, I want you to make a keepsake. I don't care if it's a DIY keepsake that you can make. Um, I, I have a keepsake wind catcher that I made. I have um, handkerchiefs. I have a beautiful blanket from my granny. That's a keepsake. It's packed in my closet. I probably can't show y'all that one because I'm a book reader and it's under a ton of books. And I just don't feel like I'm stacking all of those books right now. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, somebody gave it to her. And of course, when she passed away, when it, um, somebody gave it to her. I always used it at her house. When she passed away, it was passed down to moi. So yeah, I have that. Um, but yeah, I want everybody to just take the time out to make a keepsake. If you don't have one, you don't have anything to pass down to your kids, a little bitty something that can be a keepsake. I want y'all to take the time out to create it, make it, find something. It could be something you own. Like some people have watches, time watches, different watches. Like they have different things. So I just want to know what, what would y'all make? What would y'all create? Y'all know I'm into this kind of stuff. Like, so show me what y'all would make and what y'all would do. And just like, let me, let me know. Leave it in the comments. Hello, hello. How are y'all doing? It is officially, officially winter. It's winter in my Olaf voice. Child, it was even, cold. it was cold yesterday after the little snow came through, but today it is still cold. Happy 30 days of faithfulness in November 13th, 2019. Today, I am thankful for, y'all probably not even ready for this, but I'm thankful for medicine. And I'm going to tell you why. Now, let me cut the heat off so y'all can hear me because I got the heat on and this thing right by the heat. And I know some people be like, I don't take medicine. I ain't thankful for it. I don't take medicine. No, no, no. Medicine kill you. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell you something. So, let me talk to y'all about this medicine. Somewhere, some time ago, some AD ago, that's about how long ago it's been, it was some really sick people in the world. Sick, sick, sick people. And they prayed. And they called on the Lord. Please help us, Jesus. Make us well, Lord. Help us, Jesus. And God gave man the sense enough to create medicine. He gave them the technologies, the advancements, whatever people was praying for. God blessed them with the ability to make medicine. With all that being said, I don't like taking medicine. I don't believe in going to get a pill for everything. Oh, Lord, look at my toe. My toe hurt. It don't even be nothing wrong with the toe. My toe hurt, Jesus. I got to go down here and get me such and such medicine. And they go, they want to go get a prescription for everything. I don't believe in that. But when I'm sick, I go to the doctor. I carry my backside to the doctor. Because ain't no need of being sick. Don't go out here and get a prescription because for everything, my eyelash look funny. I need a pill. No, that's not what I'm saying. Not what I'm saying at all. But I am saying I don't think all medicine is bad. My dad is undergoing chemo right now. And if it wasn't for chemo, my dad would have died the day I got him to the doctor. I, when I got him to the doctor, he literally had like an hour to live or less. So, y'all yeah, smell y'all top lip before? Anyway, focus, focus, Neil, focus. Okay, I'm my 30 days of thankfulness today is for medicine. I thank God for it. And, you know use it sparingly as needed 
but I'm thankful for it. In your name, Heavenly Father, thank you for the medicine. I'm the uh, roof. And the grazes and all the holes people here. Oh, furniture. Horseshoe, basket, roof. 